Hey guys, what's up? Noi here. Thanks for watching this channel. I am going to be doing a review of these things. So what the heck are these things you ask? Um, they are essentially a modern version of um, those wooden mannequins that you see in art school that are just absolutely terrible. I believe they actually make you draw worse. But um, do these make you draw worse? No, they do not. They work very well. I've had these actually for um, almost a year now and they've just been kind of sitting in my uh, cupboard. Um, you're probably wondering why, oh, you can't see it right now, but I have a ton of them. I have so many of them, it seems, it's a bit ridiculous actually. But um, I have a story about that. It's um. When they got announced uh, for pre-order, um, oh my god, this is breaking apart on me. When they got announced for pre-order, I kind of went crazy. I went to, uh, because I know that these things sell out really quickly. I mean, I guess at the time they did anyway, but I think they've recently kind of uh, ramped up their production on them. So you can find them anywhere online now. But um, about a year ago, uh, they announced these for pre-order. And um, I was paranoid that I wouldn't be able to get a hold of them. So I went to all these stores in Japan. Um, I live in Canada, so it cost me extra money um, to kind of, um, it just cost me extra money with the shipping and everything like that. So I went to all these stores and I tried to secure a pre-order and I did, I was able to, but I was still paranoid, you know, I, I didn't think that I was going to get them. So, but I did, I ended up getting all of them. So that's why I have so many of them and I, I really don't need it. I decided to keep the, uh, the DX versions because they come with a bunch of stuff, if you can see here. It's focusing on my face, which I don't want it to focus on my face. Cover up my face. Okay, anyway. I'll fix the camera later. Um, because it comes with a whole bunch of stuff. And we'll go through that later. But um, I have these ones as well. And like I was saying before, they work really well, actually. I If this, looks, if this pose looks familiar to you, it's because I actually use the same pose for one of my drawings. And let me show you. If you guys haven't seen this already, it's this tracer drawing that I did um, a while ago. I'll try to focus on that right there. And with this drawing, I used this pose. Incredible, right? Now, would I have been able to get this pose without this? Of course I would have, but this made it a lot easier. I probably saved a couple, I don't know, a few minutes at least, or you know what? Maybe not. Maybe I wouldn't have been able to think of this. It would have been. It would have become a different pose altogether. What this does, it helps me get multiple different poses um, very quickly. And then what I would do is I would just actually, being a digital artist, um, I would take pictures of it, um, many different poses, and I would bring it into the um, on my mobile studio pro, and I would simply just trace it. I wouldn't go and you know, try to freehand it like this or anything like that. But if you're drawing on a piece of paper, then that's the only option you have. And I think that's what I did for the tracer one. But um, I think for my digital illustrations, I would just take a picture of it on my phone, click, click, and then I would um, mail it to myself and I would just simply trace it. So these are super poseable. I'm going to switch the camera around so you can get better, um, get a better view of them and get a, a sense of the scale of them. I'm going to be comparing to other um, toys as well just to kind of give you an idea of the scale and the posability and stuff like that. So let's do that right now. Okay so here it is. Um, sorry if my um, my audio has kind of changed. I had to reposition my mic so it might be super loud right now but maybe I'll fix it in post or whatever like that or talk a lot quieter. Maybe I'll use a Bob Ross kind of a voice and this isn't it this is kind of a creepy voice but anyway this is it right here and i know that a lot of you guys have um or some of you guys anyway have complained about the size of these things being too small and that it's kind of a waste of money for being the size it is um you know with that i would just say look at your monitor right now you know maximize your screen to 1080p and tell me if size matters i mean you're going to be taking a picture of this anyway and i'm posing in such a way that um would demonstrate how you guys should be using it anyway. You take a picture of it and you would send it to yourself like this. And as you can see, it doesn't matter that these things are small. And in fact, it's a lot more practical that they're small because they take up a lot less uh, room on your desk space, right? And I really appreciate it. And, um, you know, at first when I bought them and I received them, uh, I was kind of disappointed too. And I thought they were, they were very small. Um, but that's only because I paid a lot of money 
and I expected something more. But in hindsight, looking at it now, this is the best case scenario. I actually prefer that they are small. So just looking at this here, this is the uh, body body coon figure. It's the male figure, obviously. Um, it's got tons of articulation. Like you can see it right now. I'm kind of scared to touch it because I kind of like that pose. But I'm gonna do something like this, and you can get like all this wonderful foreshortening and stuff like that. I mean, my camera is set up so that it it creates these very shallow depth of uh, uh, field shots, but you don't have to set up your computer that or uh, your camera that way. Um, as you can see there's it's super poseable comes with a, I think a couple different mounts so this is like um I don't know the the proper um, names they give these mounts but this goes around the waist I'm thinking it's for like standing positions and stuff like that and then they also have um, this kind of a mount here where it just connects to a, a pin in the back of the figures and I think this is more for jumping poses um, like this for example and what you're looking at right now is the gray uh, DX versions, and this is the one I decided to to keep uh, or take out of the take out of the package. And the other ones I might sell or whatever like that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. But um, it looks like this. The DX versions come with 20 different hands, I believe, and it comes in this case. The um, the other ones, the uh, I believe the other the. <laughs> what I call the 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 poor man's version <laughs> it doesn't come with a a lot of things I think it comes with eight hands and nothing else I don't even know if it comes with a stand but um, that's what I like about this one if you have the extra money I would definitely spring for this it comes with a ton of different um, uh, items as well I mean hands if you suck at drawing hands this is excellent reference um, too I mean it's pretty awesome I find, I do find, speaking of the hands, I do find that the hands on the female figure is a bit small. Um, on the male figure, it's more proportionate. So I prefer that, definitely. Um, what else does it come with? It comes with a bunch of useless things, like a cell phone, a laptop computer that actually opens up, I believe. I mean, it's very detailed stuff, so you're paying a lot of money, but you're getting a quality product. Um, does it feel like it's going to break? It's, I think it's pretty well built if you don't abuse your your um if you don't abuse your toys or whatever i think they can last very long mine seem to be fine other than that i don't know what to say about them i mean look at this you can get some pretty awesome poses and i know that figma makes a version as well that look like 13 year old kids with muscles and boobs um they just look terrible. These ones look like 17 year old <laughs> kids with muscles and boobs. No, I mean, really, these are a lot better. They're way more proportionate. And I believe, um, uh, who else makes them? There's another company that makes it, not Figma. Um, Max Factory makes them. I actually have the figure right here. Hold on. Oh, it's Figma as well. I think Max Factory is Figma. But they make these ones here which I prefer. I like these ones the best. Proportionately speaking, they're uh, they're more, I don't know, it's it's just more uh, proportionate to me. To my drawing style anyway, It's um, it works really well. So that's that. This is pretty cool. Whoop. Back off, get your own sandwich, or, oh please. <laughs> this is cool, I don't know why they made it um, orange. But it's the only one I can get a hold of. But I don't have the male version of this because I, I think it looks kind of weird. And as far as like drawing male figures, I really don't need much reference for them. I'm, I'm pretty good at them. So, yeah, that's that. Um, hold on a second. Let me get give you a, a relative scale to, to this good old Genos right here. So as you can see, relative size comparison. Um, hold on, let me grab a ruler. Pew. It's about... How big is that? It's just five and a half inches, right? So, yeah, these aren't that, these aren't that big. I think the, the female figure is even shorter than that. Let's see. I don't know what is that five five inches just a little bit over so it's just a little bit shorter 
but not bad. But I dig it. I think they're pretty cool. So that's that. So there we have it. Um, these are awesome. They are useful for professionals, amateurs, anybody. If you want to nail down that quick pose, they are super poseable. And you know, the proof is in the pudding. I've done a few drawings already uh, utilizing these things and they've saved me a ton of time. So, and I've been drawing forever. Like I've, um, I've drawn a comic book. I did some concept designs. I've done some toy designs, ironically. And um, I am a designer, so, and I still find these things very useful. So it's, um, if you're an amateur, if you're beginning, this is gonna help you uh, maybe hit those poses a lot quicker, you know, so you don't get frustrated and quit. So good stuff all around. Um, I'm kind of curious actually how much they cost. Uh, if I go on the internet, Amazon.com, you can probably find it cheaper somewhere else, but Amazon seems to be the most um, obvious choice. So, Jesus, God Almighty, these things are crazy expensive. For this guy, $79.99 as of today on Amazon. And for the female figure, good old body chan. Um, I can't find the skin toned version, so. But the gray ones are going for 66 point. 63 cents together 150 bucks about that's kind of crazy actually i don't know how i feel about that for the amount of plastic you're getting i think that's a bit high but if you were to look at it from a point a standpoint of how much time it's going to save you and, and how practical these are just look just look elsewhere you could probably find it cheaper elsewhere but it's worth it if you can get a hold of them for at least I'd pay thirty dollars, forty, maybe forty, for them. But any more than that, maybe think about it. Especially if you're on a budget. But if you make tons of money, yeah, get it, no matter what. And if you're an artist, especially, get it. It's helpful. Um, so, <clears throat> yes. Hold on a second. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, my blog. My yeah, my blogger. It's the same name, Monster Repository. Yeah, same name. Bloggers, you know that blogger? It's got the orange B, that logo. Yeah, the blogger site. Just go there. It's Monster Repository. Everything's in there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Is that it? Okay, man. I'll see it. Bye. Sorry about that, guys. That was on my brother. Um, yeah, so pick these up for sure. I think I've been thinking about this actually. I think I'm going to be giving these away. I'm going to be giving this away. Um, I kind of feel bad because this was a gift from my sister-in-law, you know. I love you, sister-in-law. So if you happen to be watching this video, um, don't feel bad. I already have I already have some. And this is redundant. I think other people could use this. This is more useful at another house than just sitting in my, my drawer, you know. I think she'd be happier too, right? Think of her feelings. But I'm going to be giving this away. How you can win that is hit me up on my <clears throat> on my Instagram. Instagram, yes. Hit me up on my Instagram page, Monster Repository, exactly the same name as my YouTube um, thing. Hashtag one of your posts. It doesn't even have to be related to mannequins. It could be a picture of you and your family on a sunny beach in Cuba or something like that for all I care. It doesn't matter. Hashtag with touch my body chun. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna get thrown in jail for that, but touch my body, John. Hashtag that at the end of um, March, or February, right? Yeah, at the end of March, I'm gonna look through all the posts with that hashtag. If you happen to be the only one with that hashtag, then you automatically win. It's an easy contest for you, right? But I'm gonna look through all the posts. Maybe I'll get my son, or I'll get I'll get somebody to go through it and maybe pick like a favorite post or something, something that jumps out at them, and that person will win this and I will send this, I'll mail this to you, um, all expenses paid and all that crap, you don't have to worry about it. I'll, I'll instant message you that you're the winner and I will send this your way. Awesome, right? It's pretty easy. Um, I'm also gonna be giving these away and I feel less guilty for giving these away because I actually paid for them uh, at the beginning of the year. And, um, so how you can win this is, in this video, if you watch the entire thing, watch my, watch my, you know, listen to my annoying voice and all that stuff, um, if you watch the entire thing, there's an Easter egg in this video that's gonna 
it's going to be the um, the first part of the clue, and it's going to set you on a series of um, um, I don't know what do you call those riddles or something like that riddles it's for the sake of uh, for the lack of a better word riddles, and it's going to lead you to a page. And when you get to that page, it's pretty self-explanatory what you need to do. So when you find it, again, hit me up on Monster Repository and hashtag whatever's on that page. Um, like I said, it's pretty self-explanatory. And for that, I think I'm going to set a goal of if I get 50K views on this video, I'm setting a lofty goal because I kind of don't want to give these away because they're very expensive. I could easily turn around and sell them on on uh, eBay or whatever like that and make some money but I'm gonna set a, a lofty goal of 50k views if I hit that 50k views I'm gonna go to Instagram and I'm gonna I'm gonna look for that hashtag it's gonna be different than this hashtag I'm gonna look for that hashtag and I'm gonna pick a winner from there I don't know if that's confusing or whatever but um like I said pay attention to this video there's a there's an Easter egg in there that's gonna lead you to a set of clues that's gonna give you another hashtag all right you got that awesome anyway i'm gonna close it up there i don't want it to um i don't want to i don't think i have anything else to say really but if you like this video give it a thumbs up um give me a follow if you like and i really appreciate you guys thank you very much um i'll see you next time okay later